Have you seen this missing person? These so-called deep fake videos are created from still images using artificial intelligence. The technology is helping to boost a new generation of adverts for missing people, aimed at capturing your attention. We stood there for over an hour. Um, at least 80% of people looked up. And that's all you could ask for. Claire's daughter, Leah Croucher, disappeared in February 2019 from Milton Keynes in Buckinghamshire. She was 19 years old. It was very disconcerting to see Leah looking at us and looking around. People watching was one of her favourite things to do, me and her, when we were out shopping. And it just felt like she was there with me. The new posters draw on behavioural science to make more of an impact. They're designed to be more eye-catching, clearer, feature less text and replace the word missing with help find. Steve Martin is faculty director of the Behavioural Science and Business program at Columbia Business School. So there are three key differences between these new posters and the traditional posters. The first is a very, very high resolution image, which on digital boards actually moves. The second is we've put maps of where the person was last seen to kind of create a proximity, a locality for passers-by. And also we have, of course, the QR code, which links to the missing person's website. And here you can find out so much more information about the individual, where they went missing, their age, important information, and importantly, what to do if you think that you've seen this person. A reported 70,000 children go missing every year in the UK alone. And while most return home within 48 hours, some don't. Joe Yule is the CEO of the UK charity Missing People. There's something so haunting about those images that, that reach people, I think, and touch people's hearts in, in a new way. It brings the issue to life and families would say to us that the biggest challenge is keeping the search alive. And the digital screens use really clever technology, but based on a really basic human psychology around connecting with another human being. And we know that eyes following you, a, a smile, a, an animated person is, is difficult to walk past. And we think that the, the new digital images are really arresting, but very difficult to stop you right in your tracks, I think, to see the image of a, of a missing person, missing child, looking down on you um, and hoping that we can help them be reunited with their family. It's the not knowing that absolutely kills you inside and you just move from one day to the next hoping to find that one piece of information that will bring her home to us whatever that information is.